First short devotional message, I want us to go back to the time of the judges, specifically to the story of Jephthah. This story can be found in Judges 12. In this chapter, we will find the Ephraimites crossing over Zaphon just to accuse Jephthah and the Gileadites of not asking them for help when they fought the Ammonites. And this made Jephthah very angry, because according to Jephthah, they did ask for help, but the Ephraimites denied them of help when they were engaged in a battle against the Ammonites. And so Jephthah and his men had to fight the Ammonites alone, and God gave them the victory. Now that they won the victory, the Ephraimites are accusing them of not asking for help. And this made Jephthah very angry, so he told all his men to kill the Ephraimites present there. And so they did kill them one by one. When the Ephraimites saw that they were being finished, they tried to cross over Jordan, going to Ephraim. But the Gileadites had captured the forts of Jordan. So they thought of a tactic. They would ask the Gileadites to let them cross over. And for the Gileadites, it was hard to tell whether the person they're talking to is a Gileadite or an Ephraimite, because there was no difference in their appearance. They came from the same roots. So the Gileadites thought of a password. If somebody asked them for, to cross over, they would ask them to say Shibboleth. And it's very interesting to know that, that the Ephraimites also had a problem in pronunciation. They don't have the sh sound in their phonetic system. So instead of saying shibboleth, they say sibboleth. And that leads them to their death. This story tells me that our speech and our words tell where we belong. Whether we belong to the side of Satan or to the side of God, the winning side. This also tells me that our words seal our fate. In Matthew 12, 36 to 37, we find here Jesus saying, but I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. As TESOL experts in the making, it is very important for us to influence our students to be perfect in pronunciation. But it is more important for us to influence our students to say words that build people up, not tear them down. And as TESOL experts in the making, it is very important for us to be correct in our pronunciation, but it is more important for us to say the right words to the right person at the right time in the right place in the right way and for the right reason. And it is most important that we say words that will glorify our Father in heaven.